In this lecture, we will improve the user interface for login, sign up, and forgot password pages. In the last lecture, we already styled the index page with Bootstrap and also did extracted some reusable components to a partial directory. Now we are going to work on the login page to improve the user interface. The very first thing that I want to do here is to actually include the header since we have extracted this to a partial directory. Uh, it therefore means that we can include this header file in any page and the contents here will be automatically added to that page. Okay, first we'll proceed to do that. I'll grab the headers and the page title from the index and include it to our login page. I'm going to change the page title to login page. Next, we're going to also include the footer. So we're going to copy the footer from here and just add it here. Let's refresh our browser and see how this looks. Now we have our menu nicely set up in this page also. Next, we are going to include a container and wrap up our form elements within that container. So I'm just going to grab all these and create a container dev here. Give it a class of container. And within this container, I'm going to create a section and give it a class of column. Should be seven columns wide on a large screen. And we're going to paste this here. Refresh. Okay, nicely set up. Next, I'm going to grab this, just quickly set this up. We call this a login form. Take this out. Next, let us quickly pick a basic form template from the Bootstrap website and customize it to suit our need. So we'll go over to the Bootstrap website, getbootstrap.com, and click on the CSS link. On the right hand side, you're going to see forms among the options there. And we see basic example as the very first option. So we'll just scroll down and uh, copy this to clipboard. Go over to our test editor. And I'm going to paste this within this section. All right. Start from the top. We're going to include the action. Action is empty string. Method should be post. Next, we're just going to change this to username. And we change this for username feed. We'll copy this. And also, we just include the name control here should be username and the placeholder will be username type should be test next we're going to do for the password this is going to be password feed copy this and paste it here and uh, that's all we need to do for password then for file we do not need a file we're just going to delete this Checkbox, we're going to use this for remember me functionality, which I'll be showing you how to code later. So set the name to remember. And uh, one more thing, we need to include the link to forgot password. So a href, it's going to be forgot password. Then for the button, let me just pick the name from here. This is login btm. And the value is uh, sign in. Sign in. The name is actually login BTM. All right. I think this is all we need to do for our login form. Let's go through again. We have a username, name control, password, name control. We didn't have this here. Name control should be password. Remember me, then forgot password and our button, uh, which means we can actually remove the old form. So we're going to remove this. But now we take this and 
uh, just put it at the bottom part here refresh the page and we have our form nicely set up here okay so one more formatting we just move the button to the right hand side so we're going to come over to the button change this to primary to change the color and pull it to the right refresh i think this is cool next we're going to style the sign up form to make things easier we're just going to grab all this grab it up to this part copy it open our sign up form and paste it beneath here so it's going to be changing the parts that need to be changed to so copy this registration so where we have a login form here we're going to make it registration form for the page title it's going to be register page okay so we need one more input feed which is going to be for the email so we're going to grab this and paste it on top we're going to call this email feed copy this and change the id the place order also to email name should be email okay that's about it then the button should be changed to sign up btm sign up btm and this should be sign up we don't need the remember me here for sign up and we also don't need the forgot password okay i think this is all we also need to do for sign up so we can remove these other parts grab all these and delete so we need to remove all this until this part come over to sign up page and this is nicely set up though the label here is still showing username so just quickly correct that so this is going to be email address refresh okay email address username and password click on sign up okay our uh, form is still working the way it's supposed to work go back login all right so we're quickly going to edit the forgot password page also we'll copy this forgot passwords and we're going to do the same thing paste it below here and just edit the part that needs to be changed so this is going to be for here paste this so for the page title it's reset password i'll just say password reset So this we have the labels as email, new password, confirm password. So we're going to take this. So the very first one is going to be new password. So we're going to say new password. Let's duplicate this. Copy this. Okay, we bring this down here. This is going to be email. email feed okay so next this is new password and this is going to be confirm password this is new password and this is confirm password name going to be confirm password so just copy this here So this is going to be confirm password, new password. Okay, we take off this. Also remove this link. We're going to edit the button now. This password reset btn. And reset password all right i think that's all we need to do for this so we're just going to delete all this okay let's refresh in our browser forgot password okay so username this should be email come back here 
okay so we have all the forms uh, set up correctly we have the sign up form set up password reset form set up we have our login form also as uh, tied correctly next we are going to work on the menu after which we're going to work on our messaging